everyone, I'm Rod Wortham and welcome to this episode of Race Face Driver Updates. We had another busy week of racing with 10 drivers seeing action. So let's get right to the results. Joey East was at Colorado National Speedway for round four of the Arkham Menards Series West and his number 54, My Job Depends on Ag, Nate Clower prepared for it. Because of wet conditions early in the day, teams were not able to practice and starting positions were set by owner points. With that being said, Joey had to start ninth and move through the field very methodically, taking the lead with 18 laps to go and pulled away, parking it in victory lane for his first ARCA Series win. Check out the last two laps of this race. White flag up, one to go for Joey East. Desi Love, Jake Drew in that battle for second. 15 car lengths behind. Field working down the back stretch. No pressure at all. As Joey East works his way through turns three and four, looking at the checkered flag. Joey East picking up the victory here at Colorado National. Congratulations, Joey. Up next, Arca Series West at Irwindale Speedway on August 14th. Jesse Love was also at Colorado National Speedway for the Arkham Menard Series West event and his number 16 Bill McAnally Racing Toyota. Jesse led a race high 101 laps on Saturday night. With 24 laps to go, Jesse started to fight a loose condition that was later discovered to be an oil leak getting on the rear tires, but still managed a second place finish. Jesse now leads the ARCA West Points Championship with five races remaining. Jesse left Colorado and went straight to Wisconsin International Speedway for the Gandred Auto Group 250 Super Late Model Race on Tuesday night. The field was stacked with 34 cars qualifying for 30 spots. Jesse qualified six, started ninth with the invert. Jesse had moved into sixth place on lap 70, but started to have what he thought was a power steering problem, but ended up being a broken wheel hub, ending his night on lap 89. Up next for Jesse, Arca Menards West at Irwindale Speedway on August 21st. Caden Huddycutt rebounded from a disappointing qualifying attempt at Hickory Motor Speedway for the Cars Tour Throwback 276. Caden qualified 26 out of 29 cars. The team pulled the car from impound to make some adjustments, but had to take the green at the rear of the pack. Caden then went to work and he put on a show, eventually driving into the top 10, finish in seventh. Let's get a race recap from the driver. Hey everybody, it's Caden Hunnigate here, back from uh, Hickory Motor Speedway and the car store from Saturday night. Uh, we didn't have the greatest weekend for Justin Johnson racing. We both kind of struggled, to be honest. Um, we just couldn't find the way out of tightness and ended up qualifying 26 out of 29, which was very surprising. Um, so I decided to take upon myself to, you know, take up the car during impound and uh, adjust on it and see what went wrong. And we had a couple things that were wrong. So we ended up fixing it and adjusting a little bit more for the race that uh, we thought that was the right way. And we ended up going from 29th to 7th and 138 laps with three cautions, I believe. So uh, it was a pretty good outing. Just uh, didn't lose any or gain any points on Bobby. So that's a good thing. It could have been a huge hit in points for us. But we uh, ended up salvaging a great, great, great run and up side by side with him at the line. So it was, uh, we came down to the wire. But no, I can't thank the whole team for en uh, enough for the weekend. We uh, worked really hard. Just unfortunately, we couldn't find much uh, speed out of it. But uh, thanks to Marcus Richmond, Jason Stanley, Chase James, everybody at the crew uh, for all such their hard work. I uh, appreciate everybody that's followed me so far, my family that supported me this weekend. And uh, we got their late model, as you can see, the motor is completely out of it right now. So we're going to take the motor, refresh it. We'll be off for a month on the dirt late model, but we'll be back next month. And next race is going to be August 28th at a motor mile for the car store. See you guys then. That's how you win championships. Caden currently sets second in points, just three points behind leader Bobby McCarty. Up next for Caden, Motor Mile Speedway on August 14th for a non-Cars Tour event. Joe Valento was at Hickory Motor Speedway for the Cars Throwback 276 as well. 
in his number 17 Friends of Jacqueline DGR Ford Mustang. Joe qualified 13th, but contact from another car early in the race caused damage to the right front, ending in a 21st place finish. Let's get Joe's take on the race. Hey guys, Joe Valento back from Hickory Motor Speedway's Throwback Weekend with the Cars Tour. Had a lot of fun this weekend and had a alright weekend. I felt like we made big gains as a team and me as a driver myself, I think we found something that really finally clicked. And felt like we had a good car for practice, uh, had good speed on the long runs, felt like it stayed consistent on the older tires that we were on. So was excited to head into qualifying. We ended up 13th out of 29, which wasn't bad. We were all right with it. So we started 13th for the feature race and was running double file for about 15, 20 laps when a car on my outside, I don't know if they tried to clear themselves too early or whatnot, but kind of caught our right front nose and mangled it up a little bit, which just kind of affected the car the whole race, which was just disappointing for for us and I'm excited to get back to it uh, here at the end of August at Motor Mile but I'd like to thank everyone that makes this possible Ford Performance, David Gillen Racing, Nitro Lubricants, Napa Auto Parts, the Friends of Jacqueline Foundation and Race Face Brand Development. Up next for Joe, late model stocks in a non-cars tour race at Motor Mile Speedway next weekend all in preparation for the upcoming cars tour race later in the month. Connor Mozak had a last minute opportunity competing the Cars Tour Throwback 276 at Hickory Motor Speedway, making him the third race face driver in that race. Connor qualified 15th in the 29 car field and brought home an 18th place finish. Up next for Connor, Trans Am TA2 at the Music City Grand Prix in Nashville, Tennessee. Here's a sneak peek for this weekend at Nashville. My name is Connor Mozak and I'm driving the number 28 uh, Nick Taylor Custom Fit Underwear Chevrolet Camaro. Join me and my team Scott Legacy Racing at the Music City Grand Prix with Race for RP on August 7th. We'll be there at the Indy Cars racing on Saturday. The race will be broadcasted that night on CBS Sports and live streamed on the Trans Am by Pirelli app. We're going to be driving awareness and accelerating research. Looks like the place to be if you're a road racing fan. Cassidy Hines took her Nate Clower Motorsports Pro Late model to her home track of Colorado National Speedway where she qualified P1, won the fast dash, but was not allowed to race in the A main due to a rule interpretation, or should I say, intimidation. Up next for Cassidy, Pro Trucks at Colorado National Speedway this Saturday. Jake Bowman was at Chris Motorsports Park where he pulled double duty over the weekend with Kurt Brett Motorsports. Jake won the pro truck race and finished third in the Outlaw Late Model. Up next for Jake, hopefully back to the summer shootout at Charlotte Motor Speedway if the COVID restrictions are lifted. If not, he'll be at Stockton Speedway for the SRL Pro Late Model Series on August 14th. Brody Moore was at Madera Speedway for round six of the Junior Late Model Series, but unfortunately things did not go as planned. Let's check in with Brody for an update. Hey everyone, usually we start these videos off with we just finished the race, but sadly this weekend we didn't even get to start the race. We were the fastest we've ever ran, uh, ever really, and usually this is how it goes. Engines are really fast before they blow up, and this is what happened to us. Our engine left us this, uh, this morning, so we won't be racing the race number 6 of the 5150 Junior Late Models. Um, but our next race will be at Colorado National Speedway in the super late model for the 150 lap challenge cup. But I'd like to thank all of my sponsors, California Apartment Association, Valley Insurance, Plan Assurance, Risk Managers, Spring Hill Suites by Marriott at Madeira, and especially a huge shout out to Wilson Motorsports. They did a fabulous job this weekend. I'd also like to thank Friends of Jacklin and Race Face Advancement. So like I said, our next race will be at Colorado National Speedway. So to see you then. That's tough when you are fast and ready, but as they say, 
That's racing. Cole Denton had a perfect day in the final race of the Lanier Speedway's Summer Series by setting on the pole in his number 46 Bandit and leading every lap, parking it in victory lane for the second day in a row. Cole also captured the Summer Series Championship. Congratulations, young man. On to Chris Motorsports Park for another night of racing in his Bandit. It might be a different track, but the results were the same as Cole wins his ninth race of the season. Hudson Bulger competed in the final round at Lanier Speedway Summer Series in his number 17 Byron Power Sports Young Lion Legend car. Hudson qualified 13th and finished the race in 13th. Up next for Hudson, Legend Cars at Chris Motorsports Park on August 14th. Other drivers seeing action this weekend include Anthony Alfredo, who returns to the NASCAR Cup Series at Watkins Glen International Raceway on August 8th. Sheldon Creed will also be at Watkins Glen as the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series takes to the road on Saturday, August the 7th. Bryce Bizanson will be back in his Super Late Model for the Northwest Super Late Model Series at South Sound Speedway on August 7th. Carter Whalen will be at North Carolina QMA for round five of the Dixie Shootout Series on August the 7th. And Landon Cox will also be at North Carolina QMA for round five of the Dixie Shootout on Saturday. That's it for this week's Race Face Driver updates. And remember, if you've missed any of our shows, you can get caught up at raceface.tv on demand. Don't forget to follow us on social media. Make sure to check out the Speed Zone Race Store for the latest in apparel. As always, we encourage you to support local racing in your communities. We'll be back next week with more from your favorite Race Face drivers. So go out there, have a great race week, I'm Rod Wortham. Thanks for watching.